Okay, so hi, I'm good. I'm here to show you uh, how Leech works in Battle of Exile. So, uh, they changed Leech, and there's these new clusters on the tree, like Vitality Void, which have two new stats. Um, one of them is plus 5% of maximum life per second to maximum life leech rate. The other one's 10% increased life leeched per second. And then there's just leech. So, numbers. Uh, I've hopefully ironed out all the bugs on here, but it should be kind of correct. I should have actual tags on them somewhere. Anyways, um, leech. It's a uh, mechanic. So you have your pool, you have some sort of pool, and you leech 20% of that pool per second. That's how it works in PvE 2.0 for, what, energy shield with Ghost Reaver, and then life and mana. It's all 20% of the pool per second base. Um, after that, you have um, additional life, or additional max leech rate um, that can be added on. That's like what uh, Vitality Void does. So, you know, you get about a 5% node right there, bam, your max leech goes up by 5%. Um, however, if you just increase your hit points by a similar value, you can get the same benefit um, of the increased leech rate, along with some other benefits as well, like just being able to leech more, for instance. So, in general, the most effective way to increase the amount you can leech is to increase the total pool you have. So the more pool, more leech. Simple as that. Um, the other interesting stat is this increased leech rate. So the, ma the major change that came about in 2.0 is that uh, instances of leech are now created. So before, if you smashed a whole pack, it would kind of, well, then originally when you smashed a whole pack, it would just kind of like buffer the leech into a massive uh, thing that just kind of drained into your hit points. Um, at this uh, leech per second you could get. So like the moment you hit a pack you just got all the leech, so you could just do one AoE attack into a pack and you would just leech all your life back. It was pretty silly. Then they changed it to where if you smash the whole pack of once, uh, effectively you'd only have one of those instances returning life to you. And then in this, uh, they changed it so that you have to hit the pack a lot of times, or a small pack lots and lots and lots of times in order to get a good amount of leech off of it. So originally you leeched too much off of packs, and uh, then they changed it, but there was really no penalty for single targets, so you could just kind of tank bosses simple, like very easily. And now it's this, some sort of hybrid, which means that leech is really, really annoying to use, and it's all because of this box right here. So, leech, you have a pool and you're leeching into that at some rate. Um, every single time you hit a mob and create an instance of leech, that instance kind of drains into your life at a maximum rate. So, max leech per instance is like 100. You got increased leech rate on that. So, you got 20%, you get 120 leech per instance. Um, that's not all the increased leech rate does. So counterintuitively you would say hit a mob, you would leech some amount, okay, get some amount of leech, and that would basically be a duration effect over your hit points. So you would get 4.49 seconds of 100 life a second. But say you got 100% increased leech rate, now you still leech some amount, and you get a duration effect that's applied, basically a healing over time effect that goes into your hit points. So 4.49 seconds of 200 life a second in this case with 100% increased leech rate. So effectively this increased leech rate is a multiplier to your effective leech amount that you actually have on your hits. So instead of stacking more leech, like getting just more and more like say physical damage life leech, you can then get less of that and instead stack increased leech rate as that would have a similar effect. It would be more beneficial actually. It would produce a similar effect. You basically think of it as like a multiplier to your life leech. So um, you might hit a whole pack and you could do a whole bunch of instances of damage at once 
And one of these sets might be a lot bigger than the others, so, you know, you have all these leech effects going into your life pool. These are just draining into your life pool at a set rate, so you would leech some massive amount, uh, but it's still capped at your maximum leech rate. And as these instances wear off, uh, you would get less and less life back. So eventually, you'd only have like one instance, and then that instance would just finally end, and yada yada. So that's all fine for packs. You'll usually cap out on leech against packs. So the problem is for single target. And it really comes down to how your character will do damage. So say you have a character with like 25,000 DPS. So it's like, you know, 5,000 damage hits and you're attacking five times a second. So you have 25,000 DPS. Uh, that's great. You know, leech rate after 0.5 seconds that's kind of like the critical value right here. This is what makes Leech feel safe. Um, so if you're at capped life, uh, Leech doesn't apply. Like if you're at capped pool, the Leech in that pool does nothing. It's just like not even considered. You have to be damaged in order to uh, start leeching to that pool. Like it can't be at max. So um, kind of like if you get if you're at max and you get smashed for like a ton of damage, like so you get hit by like a touch of god or something like that and somehow survived the whole bullshit, um, you're gonna be damaged and you're gonna want your life back fast. And this box right here is the problem because in the previous instances, um, you would get smashed and the next hit, you would instantly be leeching at max. So like you just go to max leech instantly. But you have to wait for all these instances to build up. They're not all occurring at the same time. So you have to wait for one of like, you know, like, you know, you're doing like 2,000 damage and 2,000 damage and 2,000 damage. And these are just going to create one instance, two instances, three instances, four instances, five instances of leech. And those are each going to return at like, you know, 100 life a second or something like that. And that's really the issue. You have to build up all these damage hits. So the way the character does damage is just as important as how much damage the character does uh, for a leech. So say doing 5,000 by 5 hits a second is very different from say 25,000 at 1 hit a second. So now after 0.5 seconds you don't even have any leech and you know after 1 second you barely have any. Um, you'll still cap out eventually after 10 seconds but say if you swapped it around to have, say, a thousand damage per hit, but you attack 25 times a second, well, now you can cap out in, well, how, like half a second, effectively, with these sorts of stats. So something like Ice Crash is actually really bad for Leech in comparison to something like Double Strike, because Ice Crash has an attack speed um, less multiplier, it attacks less faster and a double strike simply doubles your kind of hits per second so double strike would like double strike with multi-strike is going to attack you know maybe six times faster than ice crash so you know that's six times the rate at building up to like a respectful amount of leech so um yeah anyways i'll so i hope that kind of explained everything um, I'll provide this spreadsheet in the description and you can save your own and kind of like modify all these cells. Um, even though it looks kind of complex, there's only six actual things that you can modify and then you can play around with these values as well to kind of figure out what you want. But uh, yeah, it's not that complex, but it's way too fucking confusing. And, yeah, it should have never been this confusing. But uh, for the most part, you can kind of ignore it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, that makes sense. But yeah, you know, I just made, I made a video about some, but you can kind of ignore it. Yeah, that's uh, right up my alley. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.